you wanting to start a podcast and you just don't know where to start because you don't know what you need, what equipment you need, well, you're in the right place. I'm going to cover that all today. So stay tuned. Hey, my name is Olivia D'Souza. I'm dedicated to helping multi-passionate entrepreneurs turn their dreams into reality by building a career and a life they love and making a positive impact in the world. I'm a podcast and social media manager, a singer-songwriter, a kids' music creator, a fadishta, a wife and a mum. I'm the secret weapon behind many six- and seven-figure entrepreneurs, helping them shine a line and call in the people they are here to serve. And now I'm here to help you. This podcast is here to help you learn and be inspired. You will learn about podcasting, lead generation, business, and all about the real life stories of people behind the businesses just like you. Think of it as a place to hang out with your like-minded business bestie who gets what it's like. So grab a cuppa and hit subscribe so we can hang out again. This is Magnetic Pod, the podcast. I am here and I'm ready to be brave. Cannot miss me, I'll stay. Hey friend, before we dive into today's episode, remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the tips we share in Magnetic Pod on podcasting, lead generation and business boosting ideas. And remember, if you have or you're thinking about starting a podcast, head over to my website at livymusicmedia.com forward slash freebies. I have loads and loads of free resources and templates that will help you get started. The link is in my show notes. Now, here's your show. Hi, I'm Libby. I help entrepreneurs get their message out to the world so they can make an impact and attract their dream clients and make the difference that they were here to make as well as making the income that we're here to make. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any tips and tricks on podcasting and lead generation and YouTube and let's get into it. Okay, so sometimes the hardest thing about starting a podcast or starting anything for that matter is starting. It just seems overwhelming and knowing what equipment to get can be a hurdle. So the key things to remember is good microphone, good lighting, because these days if you're doing a podcast, it's a wasted opportunity if you don't get the video as well. Now I will caveat that by saying that if you are wanting to do podcasts because you want to get away from the option of a video and you want to show up in your pyjamas and not care what you look like, then go ahead and just do an audio only one because doing something and getting that quality content out into podcast world is still really, 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 really valuable. So don't let that stop you. But if you are open to doing a video, there are just so many options and so much more we can do with that content and repurposing and getting it on your social media and everywhere. So I will cover lighting from that point of view. And cameras. So let's get into microphones. There are so many microphones and it can be really confusing just knowing what microphone to get. So I use the Rode NT USB microphone it is just simple and it just plugs straight into your computer. So that is my favorite. I have also used the Blue Yeti microphone, which is perfectly good as a podcasting microphone. However, I prefer this one. <laughs> I got this one in lockdown when I found that I needed to record my music from home instead of going to my music producer's studio, which is what I'd normally do for the music side of things. And so I ended up getting this because I wanted something that had more depth in the sound and more richness. And this is perfect because it was just a simple thing that I could just plug in and it's all I wanted at that stage. I didn't want to have to set up a whole music studio with a mixing desk and all of that, which I have had in the past. But in lockdown, I didn't have the space we were using, trying to create offices and school spaces and all of the things. So I just wanted to keep it simple and just have a simple USB microphone that I could plug straight into my computer. And this did it. And I could also use it for my singing and the sound quality. I just love. So I recommend it. It's also, it's a podcasting mic and I've used it for music as well. And I'm super fussy about microphones for singing. So I can't believe the quality you can get out of such a reasonably priced microphone. Ideally, you should have a boom arm too so that it doesn't get knocked and doesn't pick up any vibrations or anything like that. So I will put some recommendations of some boom arms that you can get. Today, I'm actually using a lapel mic because I'm recording into my 
smartphone camera. So we have some different options and it depends on how you want to set up. So for video, I recommend you can use a smartphone because it keeps it simple and I just think most people just need to have an easy solution. So I use that. I use Filmic Pro as the app to record in because you can get some better quality and so you can do some refinements as to the quality that you capture. That is a paid subscription, about $5 a week to have that. Otherwise, if you want to go another step up, you can also use a DSLR camera, which I also have that I use sometimes for certain purposes. And a great one is a Panasonic G95. That's the one that I have. It's a beauty. So one thing to watch for if you want to get a camera for filming, just check how long you can film for because I know some of the Canon ones, unless the super recent ones have changed, but a lot of the Canon ones will stop filming after half an hour because they're made primarily as a photo camera, whereas Panasonic's are made as a video camera. They can also take photos, but there's no limit. So having it something that cuts out after half an hour, if you're planning to do lots of videos, will be really annoying. So check on that feature. You can also use a Logitech webcam, which gives you a nicer quality than the webcam in most computers. So that's another thing that you could possibly look at if you're doing interviews and you just want a simple plug-in solution to be able to record your interview podcasts. Also think about your background and things like that when you're filming. So the next thing is lighting. So for me, the simplest, easiest, which I like simple and easy, (laughs) and it doesn't take up too much space, is to use a ring light. So I have a 18 inch ring light well I will put a link to that which one I have so it is simple to use you can adjust whether it's cool or warm lighting and how bright it is it gives you an even light on your face and it is a lot more flattering than having uneven light so watch out make sure if you just have down lights they are the most horrible thing in the world if you're taking photos or videos Make sure that you have an even light on your face. Down lights are cruel, right? They will put a light on your nose and shadows under your eyes and some weird light on your cheek and on your chin and you just be all over the place. It's really unflattering. You want an even light. So if you haven't got special lighting, in the meantime, just even light from the sun. So if you're positioned in front of a window. So to recap, you don't have to remember everything that I mentioned today you can just download my tech sheet of the podcast equipment you need to get started podcasting, which includes video because video is a part of podcasting these days if you choose it to be. So you need to have a good microphone. I like the Rode NT-USB microphone. You can use the lapel microphone. Did I mention this? I wrote this Rode lapel microphone. If you use this into a smartphone, you need to use your adapter that comes with your phone to be able to plug it in. For video, you can use your smartphone. You can use a good quality mirrorless or DSLR camera. I like the Panasonic G95. Or you could use a good quality Logitech webcam, which I'll put a link into the show notes into my favorite one. For lighting, an 18 or 19 inch ring light, which has a cool and warm feature and you can adjust the brightness. Basically, you need an even light on your face. If you wanted to go further, you could actually go with box lighting, full video studio setup. Most people don't necessarily have the room for that, but if you want that, which is kind of what I use if I was doing a kid's music video, I have a couple of soft box lights then I can put a link to what I use for that kind of setup, but you need a lot of room for that. But the main thing is don't let equipment overwhelm you. Just start and you can upgrade things as you go. But really, you can start with a phone. I've actually helped people with podcasts who started by just talking straight into their phone. If you're going to do that, I would say hold it to your ear so that you're not, if you hold your mouth straight into the microphone part of the phone, you're more likely to get the p- the pops, the P's and the B's that pop into the microphone. So hold it as though you're talking on the phone to your ear. I've had people start like that and 
it's been fine. And then you can upgrade and improve the quality as you go. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out. You can contact me via Instagram, Livy, L-I-V-V-I, Livy Music Media on Instagram, or you can reach me on LinkedIn, Olivia D'Souza Ferris, or you can send me an email. I don't care how you do it. Just reach out. And you can also download the summary of what I've said today, my recommendations. It's all in the show notes. Let me know what you want to know next time about podcasts, YouTube or lead generation. And remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye. So what were your key takeaways from today? Did it raise any questions? What would you like to know more about? Let me know. You can contact me via social media or email. I don't care which way you use. Just reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. And remember, you can get access to lots of free podcast resources that will help you get started or help you improve your podcast at livymusicmedia.com forward slash freebies. Hit subscribe because I want to see you again. But for now, go forth, be the awesome person you are, live the life you want to live and have fun. You've got this. See you next time. Show them who I be, unavoidable. Hello, it's Livy here. Have you ever wondered about what the key elements are that make a podcast truly stand out? Or maybe you're thinking about starting your own special podcast and feel a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Well, I have something for you. Introducing the ultimate podcast checklist. Da, 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 da. It's a step by step guide that covers everything from the initial brainstorming to advanced growth strategies. It's the perfect companion for both new and seasoned podcasters. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Da, 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 da. <laughs> to grab your copy, simply head to the show notes of this episode and you will find a direct link there. And then away you go. Remember, every podcast started with that initial spark and the right resource. So let the ultimate podcasting checklist be yours.